what's your worst deal and how did you get through it? We bought a 24 unit government subsidized, like a HUD property in Memphis. What really made it a tough deal is I was trying to do our altruism and the capitalism at the same time. And what we hoped to happen in Memphis was we bought this 24 unit and I thought there was one gang in it, but it turned out to be 24. We ended up trying to take those folks, you know, people to the ball game and say, look, you know, you can own your own home. Let us show you how to do that. People didn't want to do it. They wanted to continue to rent and have this, the thing that they were most familiar with. I really want to change their hearts and minds about what was possible for their future. And it didn't work when Powerful Homes was born. We now have a nonprofit that does that, help people empower their dreams for home ownership, but we separated the two concepts, right? You have a real estate investment, which is a yield or IRR or return on investment. And then you have a mission and to separate them made it clearer. It was tough. We're, we're actually under contract to sell that asset and we're going to break even. So it's heartbreaking for me that we couldn't get people to see the light that you don't have to be a renter. You can have up and out, power your dreams to real estate. It was just too big of an idea to, to get across the goal line. What was the first real estate acronym that you came across and you were like, what? P-I-T-I is that you make your monthly payment. Sometimes they say those letters because it's principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Those four things all lumped into one payment. How do you incorporate life-work balance? One of the reasons I was attracted to real estate is that you can have, talk about balanced life. The word we always use is integrated life. I wanted to be very active, you know, husband and father. And uh, I wanted to be involved with my kids' life, not to be a helicopter parent, but just to be close with them. The way we do it is throughout our, our careers, you know, we made sure we always prioritize, you know, the time with each other and our kids. And it was such a wonderful thing to be able to do that. And real estate really kind of fosters, you can have gaps of time to do that. I've had opportunities to do more deals, bigger jobs along the way. I would just always kind of run it through the filter of how would this affect my kids? How would this affect my marriage? If I failed at that, then more money or more stuff wouldn't matter. We always prioritize it. 